Captain, come in. You may stand at ease. I understand you've succeeded in bringing Havoc Squad up to full strength, Captain. Congratulations. Havoc Squad can take down whatever the Empire throws at us, Commander, sir. That's what we were hoping for. General Garza, care to begin? Certainly. As you know, Captain, the Gauntlet's superweapon allows the Empire to target and destroy any ship traveling through hyperspace. This capability, if put to use, would give the Empire an insurmountable advantage. It also makes an attack on the Gauntlet itself extremely difficult. Fortunately, the technical data you helped retrieve allowed us to determine a safe approach pattern that will get our forces within striking range. Can you explain this approach pattern, sir? We've run the numbers from the Imperial's readouts and determined the Gauntlet's minimum time to acquire and lock onto a target. Your ship and those of my battle group will approach the Gauntlet by making numerous short hyper jumps, always remaining below the minimum lock on time. Short, repeated hyperjumps are very inefficient. Once we're in, our warships won't have enough fuel to return. Total victory will be our only option. What is my squad's objective once we're in the target area? When the attack begins, Lieutenant Coria's safecrackers will immediately disable the planetary shield generator that protects the gauntlet, allowing Havoc Squad to board it. Once you're aboard, begin the demolition operation. Sergeant Yuan will help you bypass the security seals on the weapon's inner core. Specialist Vic will then go into the core with you and plant explosives at key weak points, ensuring the gauntlet's total destruction. First I work with Yuan, then with Vic. Got it. During your demolition operations, Two Havoc Squad members of your choice will assault the Gauntlet's bridge and download all data from the weapon's computers. Unassigned squad members will provide mobile backup to the rest of the team as needed. As soon as your objectives are complete, evacuate the Gauntlet immediately. Understood? I'll assign the bridge assault team before the attack begins. We cannot overemphasize the importance of this mission, Captain. The future security of the Galactic Republic hinges on the destruction of this single weapon. You and your team are no strangers to situations like this. You've faced incredible odds before, and overcome them with skill and determination. If anyone can lead the charge in this battle and see us through to victory, it's Havoc Squad. Your Republic is counting on you. Move out! Public. has exited hyperspace and engaged the Imperial's escort ships. Defensive forces are as expected. Lieutenant Coria reports that the safecrackers have breached the planetary shield generator. You're clear to make your run on the gauntlet. Good hunting. This battle is a long way from over, sir. Be ready for anything. Your advice on naval tactics is noted. Newman out. I got the team prepped and ready for your assignments, Captain. We're all eager to do some damage. Like Garza said, we'll need two for the assault on the bridge. Getting in there will be a fight. Vic and you are spoken for, so that leaves me, Dorn, and Forex to hit the bridge. Who do you want on the job? Sergeant Dorn knows the Imperial systems, and Forex can take the heat. All bridge data will be collected and returned without error, sir. No Imperium will stand in our way. The Republic will triumph. We'll make the final adjustments before we land. Any other words for the team? Havoc is the best squad in the Republic because it has the best soldiers in the Republic. That's why we'll succeed. We may be charging headfirst into the most advanced weapon of war the Sith Empire has ever built, but we will succeed. The odds may be impossible. The enemy may outnumber us ten to one. But Havoc Squad will succeed. 
Sir, yes, sir. Move out and find the rest. Couldn't have done it without you, Yoon. Time to contact Vic. Vic, come in. The seals are disabled. Rendezvous at the core access door ASAP. Over. That ugly bug got you through after all, huh? Heading for the door. Vic out. There you are. We're ready to finish this. Or should I pop out for a drink? Let's get in there and get to work. Sergeant Yoon, you're dismissed. Rendezvous with Sergeant Jorgen and stay alert. the spot. One down, Captain. Let's hit the rest so we can get back to Coruscant and the many thankful citizens of the Republic. Keep your mind on the job, Vic. Oh, yes, sir. of them. We'll be good to go in just a few seconds. Captain, sir. Sergeant Dawn. A situation has developed on the bridge. All data has been retrieved, but Imperial reinforcements are overwhelming our position. We can't hold them. Are your explosives in place? Are we clear to return to the ship? Jorgen, take Yoon and give Dorn and Forex some cover while they pull out. Then rendezvous back at the ship. Already on our way, sir. Just hang in there, people. We'll try to reach the ship by the time you get there, Captain. Dawn out. Captain, it is a great relief to see you well, in spite of the extensive fighting. I'm afraid that Dorn was injured terribly while we were fighting our way back to the ship. I attempted to absorb as much incoming fire as possible, but she refused to hide. She insisted on ensuring that I returned as well. What's her status? Is she going to make it? It's been a long time since medical basics, but Yoon and I managed to patch her up. If Forex hadn't gotten her back so fast, we would have lost her. It was very brave of you to get Dorn out of there. The Republic does not leave its heroes behind. I did only what duty required. Could we talk about this later? I need to set those charges off, and we shouldn't be sitting in the hangar bay when I do. Let's get out of here and finish this. Agreed. Let's show the Empire the result of their assaults on liberty and democracy. 
Captain, fantastic work. The Imperial Ministry of War is a firestorm over the Gauntlet's destruction. The SIS says that heads will roll over this, quite literally. If the Imperials are busy fighting over blame, this is the perfect time for more strikes. A good thought, actually. I'll have the SIS work up a priority listing of targets of opportunity right away. Your leadership and skill in conducting this ongoing operation have been exemplary. I'm promoting you to the rank of Major. Effective immediately. Commensurate promotions will be issued to your squad members as well. Congratulations, Major. I'm honored to accept this promotion, General. You've earned it. When presented with extraordinary circumstances, you have delivered extraordinary results. I'm also recommending you for the Silver Crescent, in honor of the extraordinary valor you demonstrated in the attack on the Gauntlet Superweapon. In recognition of the injuries she suffered in action against the enemy, I've recommended Ilara Dorn for the mark of dedication. That is, if you approve. I can't think of anyone more deserving. Excellent. I'll submit the necessary forms right away. Now, I'm afraid that not all of our news is positive. We received the following hollow transmission not long after the gauntlet was destroyed. Republic Command. I am General Racton of the Imperial Ministry of War. You have made a grave error. By destroying the gauntlet, you have destroyed a weapon of peace and the final hope your people had. Give me everything we've got on this man, General. I'll have a dossier sent immediately. In short, Racton is the Empire's top commander, the mastermind behind their military campaigns. I had hoped a device that removed the possibility of resistance would allow the Empire to achieve its great works without further bloodshed. But your actions have destroyed any hope for peace. I am forced to launch a campaign unlike any the galaxy has seen. Your soldiers will be slaughtered, your planets will burn, and your people will embrace the light of the Emperor's will at last. If the Empire is about to begin a full-scale campaign against us, our forces need to be ready. We're putting all outposts and units on alert immediately. For years, General Racton has outmaneuvered and outwitted every Republic force that has stood in his way, including mine. The SIS is watching for any sign of Racton's new campaign. Until we have solid data, Havoc Squad is relieved. Rest, recuperate, and be ready for my call. Dismissed, Major.